Certainly not, kind sir. I am here but to clean your chambers. Is that all you have come here for, little one? My I have, chamber? I have no idea what it is you imply, master. I am but a poor Argonian maid. So you are, my dumpling. And a good one at that. Such strong legs and shapely tail. Oh, you embarrass me, sir. Fear not, you are safe here with me. I must finish my cleaning, sir. The mistress will have my head if I do not. Cleaning, eh? I have something for you. Polish my spear. But it is huge! It could take me all night! <laughs> Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. <laughs> Volume 2. Age of Ultron. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness! That's quite a loaf! But however shall it fit in my oven? This loaf isn't ready for baking, my sweet. It has yet to ride. Oh, if only we could hurry that along. How would I accomplish such a task? Oh, my foolish little <laughs> Argonian maid. You must use your hands. You wish me to knead the loaf? Here? Of course. Of course. But what if the mistress catches me? Your loaf was meant to satisfy her appetite. Oh, don't fret, my delicate little flower. I'll satisfy, I'll satisfy the mistress's cravings later. Very well, but I'm afraid my oven isn't hot enough. It could take hours. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. <laughs> Foolish! <laughs> oh, master, that's quite a sword you have there. Indeed, but I am afraid it is dull due to much adventuring it has partaken in. Oh, but sir, tis still a fine shapely sword. A great sword at that. One can but hardly handle it. Tis true, but one cannot go around with such a dull sword. To do so would be a travesty. Is there any way to relieve Master of his troubles? But of course, my sweet Argonian maid, a good grinding, wink, is all she needs. But master, I am unsure of such skills. And what if mistress were to find out? Don't fret, my dear. Mistress is away to the market. She won't be back till supper. Ah, oh, but of course, I had forgotten. Still, grinding a sword of such magnitude would take hours. Plenty of Time, my sweet, plenty of time. Oh, woe is me! This milk is so heavy! Who could possibly help poor Cicero? <laughs> oh, master, will you help this poor Argonian maid with her jugs? Uh, but of course, my dear, I cannot bear to see you struggle with such a bird. Why, thank you, master! You are so kind and generous! Tis nothing, my sweet. However, it troubles me so. I do recall having bought milk this morning. Oh, forgive me. I had partaken in the consumption of all of Master's milk. Its thick, creamy sweetness was a pleasure I could not resist. But alas, oh my. I had left none for the mistress. Oh, my dear, tis no trouble, for the milk I supply is the finest in the land, and do not worry about the mistress, your milk will suffice. But where does Master acquire such wonderful milk? If you would like, I can show you my secrets, but it will take quite a while. Are you sure there is enough time for such things? Mistress will be home any minute. Plenty of time, my sweet, plenty of time. <laughs> Boy, we're halfway there, boys. <laughs> Whoa! Live it on a prayer! Squeeze my hog, we'll make it a sweat. <laughs> oh, master, look at the mess you've made. Sorry, my sweet. One could not help oneself in such a situation. She's quite all right, but master should really control thyself. 
I just couldn't help seeing you in such a distress, my sweet. Doing laundry is but a woman's task. Now Master has made one all wet. I do apologize. One didn't know how large a load it was going to be. Indeed. Was much more than one could handle. Mistress does enjoy her many dresses. This is true, but such a mess I have made. I cannot afford to have my little Argonian maid so wet with me being the cause. What would you have me do, master? Relinquish one's clothes so they may be put out to dry. But master, what of mistress's cloths? They too must be cleaned. To have one's cloths dry could take hours. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. <laughs> Ow, my back! Why must you work me over so hard, master? It is not your place to question, my dear. But sir, you have not worked me over quite this hard in some time. Something must be troubling you. Well, tis the mistress, I'm afraid, my sweet. Oh, how so? She, bitch, <laughs> having a soiree this evening and wants everything presentable for the festivities. I see, I see. But why the stress over such a small thing, master? Well, the mistress wanted a bard to play the flute tonight, but alas, I was unable to acquire one. Oh, but master, I know my way around a flute quite well. Maybe I can give master's flute a try. Oh, praise the gods. As it so happens, I have my flute right in my pocket. Oink! Why don't you give her a blow? Here? Now? But I must get everything ready for mistress's guests, or she will have my head. Are you sure we have time for such things? Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. <laughs> Oh, welcome home, master! May I ask where you have gone so early in the morn? Why, yes, of course, my delicate little flower. I was merely taking a look around the grounds with the new horse I did purchase. I see, I see! Uh, such a fine stallion he is! Such a thing is hard to come by! As it should be, I only acquired this finest, the finest things in the land. That is why you're here, my dear. Oh, master, you flatter me so. But what I say is true, my sweet. Look at this horse. My horse is amazing. <laughs> you will not see a finer horse than this in all of Tamriel. <laughs> I do agree. Master Stallion is most impressive. Such a large, muscular, and hardy specimen one has. The size and shape is of most wonder. Then why not to give her a ride? Oh, but Master, no one is not experienced enough to ride such a beast. Do not fret, my sweet. I shall tutor you in the ways of such activities, and I'll be sure to be gentle. But, Master, much work is yet to be done. Such actions may take a while, are you sure? Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. Dawn of the final day. <laughs> Volume 42, 24 eight. hours. 24 <laughs> hours remain. <gasps> Oh, my mistress will be home any minute, and I have yet to prepare dinner. Walks in kitchen. My, what is troubling you, my sweet little Argonian maid? Tis the meat master has supplied. It is supposed to pleasure mistress's palate this evening, but I have yet to prepare it. Is that all? You are certainly very skilled at handling my meat. Yes, Oink. yes, but today Master's meat is especially thick and large. It is too much and too tough for Mistress to handle. Indeed, today's hunt proved especially fruitful. This venison meat I acquired came from a mighty deer, whom proved difficult to take down. I had to suplex it. <laughs> That's all well and good, Master, but tis still yet to be cooked. Albeit a juicy piece of meat is still too tough for me to cook. 
But the answer is simple, my sweet. All she needs is a good pounding, as to tenderize or soften her up, if you will. But master, I have never pounded meat of such magnitude. Do not worry, my little mountain flower. I will show you how such deeds are done. Oh, but master, even still, a pounding of swords could take hours. No. <laughs> Bye. You have to say it. <laughs> plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. The end. That's it's my presentation. Over. I'll be taking my A plus now. Fuck you. <laughs> Teacher, where's my thesaurus? I am out. All of you paid for this. And if you don't like it... Hose man! Hose man! Hose man! Hose man! Hose man! Hose man!